Today what we're doing is we're receiving uh, the first four of a uh, seven uh, ambulance purchase uh, that we were able to secure through the cooperation of the uh, Bureau of Statistics and Plans uh, through a grant that they were able to identify. And so we're receiving these medics today and it's in perfect timing because actually on fr this past Friday, one of our medics went down for maintenance. We were able to take one of the new ambulances, get them in service and certified uh, that day and get that uh, medic online. So uh, that fourth medic is actually out at the Dededo Fire Station as we speak. Yeah. So this, this couldn't be more timelier. To be able to get us to put these out on the street, take those, the aging fleet, bring them in and provide that maintenance and that, that, uh, the attention that it's been, been needing is huge. Uh, through the help with the uh, Cars Plus is this stretcher. You will find that this is, a, this is not the normal stretcher that, you would see, that you're used to seeing where it actually takes some movement from the firefighters, which is, makes them prone to injury. This is all powered now so that they don't have to rely too much on, on them actually physically lifting. They can utilize the, the electronics and uh, the electric uh, lift on this. What it means to have these ambulances, it's, it's a great, it means a great deal because um, it definitely will help our response time um, to people in need. Uh, we average about 17,000 runs annually and COVID enhanced our runs like drastically. So having these, uh, these new ambulances will help out with that. I would like to say thank you very much to BSP and Mr. Tyron Titano and his staff for making this come true for us. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Office of Homeland Security, Office of Civil Defense, uh, especially Ms. Maria Kenga, who was uh, very helpful for us. Uh, and of course, uh, GSA with Claudia and her, her staff down at GSA. Uh, once we finish up here, these medics will be going down to the maintenance shop. We will be doing all of the transferring of equipment. Then we will be taking it down to uh, Office of EMS so they can get certified and then they will get assigned this afternoon.